Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Rebuild 3. So, again, just doing stuff off camera. This came up. We need to give some people away. Um, I'm not going to give them Mihai because he came with his family. I'm not going to remove him from his family. We'll give him Pete. Um, and now... What? No, you should have 75 respect. What the balls. Oops. Yeah, there's 77 respect. Why is I... Ooh, hopefully it will show up next time around. We've all been there. You ransacked a deserted house and already found more than you can carry. You're about to leave when you hear someone bump around in the garage. It could be anything in there. Bicycles, chainsaws, maybe even a rifle. But is it worth the chance? Balance, risk, and reward. There is nothing left to scavenge. I have the entire map now. Everything is mine or theirs. But I own the majority of it, of course. Like, see, Gustav doesn't even have anywhere to go. He has to be in the woods. Uh, some folks feel that our women should be shielded from the forest. Blah, blah, blah. Others think women are just fit to carry guns. How about people do what... A woman's role is whatever she wants to be. We can change this policy later. Lots of materials. I don't even think I don't even know where a zombie's gonna come from if they get one. We have a shit ton of munitions. Okay, here. Start mission. Meet with. We'll do that. I also have like everyone on. I used to be a doctor, so I recognized the symptoms of St. Philip's infected wound right away. Thankfully it wasn't a zombie bite, just your run of the mill bacteria. But it could just as easily have been fatal if I hadn't seen him limping and cleaned that wound properly. Even the slightest scratch these days. It needs to be looked at these days. Alright. We're gonna talk with Lud. Are you kidding me? Oh. There, this, uh, will assign Catherine. We gain, gained a former looty perk. Appeal to his good nature now, finally. I returned to Lud to ask if he could teach the school. He told me the injured builder had already lost his leg, but they could still use that medkit for the next time. Appeal to his good nature. He finally relented and said he'd give the kids a few lessons himself, but only if they do exactly what they're told. He seemed to think I was keen to learn about farming too, and actually taught me a few tricks about natural pesticides that may come in handy. Done. Now what? Now what, kids? Now what do you want? We're gonna meet with them. <laughs> so I still need... To Claire where? Yeah, okay. Rufus greeted me warmly and it seemed to think our lines is going well. I'm not sure what St. Michael's gets out of it, but so long as they keep sending us materials, I'm not going to argue. Aw, hi Sam. What is Sam? He is a builder. Sam Kabuto. You know how they say it feels like we've been fighting Zed since forever? When I was a kid, I thought there was literally never a time before zombies. Oh, he also got the same... Looked at a library once. Okay, you can have the bookworms. Done. Oh, we still have more. There are more of his story. He will also be a pacifist. Done. Does everyone else have a... Uh, no. Okay, so... Let's just keep... Bowing down to these people and get done with this quest. We're gonna talk to Kathleen. Kathleen's frustrated with Gustav and the caravan. She says she used to be an artist, but it's been forever since she built something with her own two hands. Gustav caught her, caught her whittling a piece of wood one day and angrily took her knife away, saying she might hurt herself with it. 
Things continue like this. Captain says that she's going to head out on her own. But she's not even sure how she'll avoid the Zed, or even if Gustav will let her go. But enough is enough. Maybe we can talk Gustav into letting her go. Whatever, we'll give it some time. <laughs> I went overboard and got... And some of it might have been made up, but Lude was moved by it. Start mi- oops. Start mission. Discuss Kathleen. We Where's me? Here. Holy crap, I have a lot of food. Uh -huh. Gustav was taking inventory when I met up with him. He twiddled his mustache. Kathleen, yes. I see you spent too much time with her, but my payment box is empty just like before. Maybe that girl is trying to cheat me. I explained that she wants to leave the caravan, and that the little man grunted. Well, it's not that if she is a prisoner, you understand? It's just I pay for that girl's food and bed and bodyguard to keep her safe. I need return on my investment. He rubbed his fingers together. Oh, if I had put a level 8 leader. I will offer him food. Wow. <laughs> Gustav seems satisfied with the deal and released Kathleen, Kathleen with his blessing. Kathleen thanked us for her help, for our help. While she was fairly sure she could have made it out on her own, it would have been a lot messier. She offered to join us and we were more than glad to have such a skilled artist on our side. Boom. Where is she? Where is my artist? I'm blind. I don't see her. So, oh, I found her. We take her to St. Michael's. Done. I saw her and then I lost her. There she is. Hi, Kathleen. Uh, I had a chance to talk with her over a drink today. She said, ah, I can't stand these cramped quarters. I just want to be left alone, but I wouldn't survive out there. My old studio was above an old folks' home. They kept to themselves, and I liked it that way. We will give her the loan of her. Done. Does anyone else have a friend? No. Okay. So, we have 12 more respect to gain. We heard a banging on our front gate and found Rufus there, covered in mud and out of breath. Seems one or more of the clueless St. Michael's kids took down a section of their fence to plant, build a planter, and Zed poured through a hole just as soon as they found it. There could be hundreds in there now, but it's dangerous to try and clear this hole out. Or at least we could rescue some of the boys. We don't have room for that many new mouths to feed, but the Lewis plenty have, have plenty of food on their farm. Maybe they'll adopt them. We're going to send soldiers to clear out the zombies. You should have seen that kid's face light up. He told us he'd meet us there and hurried back. We've only got a few hours, or maybe a day, to gather a team and send them to St. Michael's. Don't know if we're going to be able to make it over the school in time, but we're damn well going to try. Let us... Oops. We're going to save him. Boom. 75 days, okay. Or 7 points three days. Oh. It doesn't go down. Well, that's whatever. All of my fighters can go. Boom. <laughs> We're on it. I'll share our research. That's okay. No, it's not. Fuck. Build a tower. Don't you dare pause at me. Don't you dare. Start to fish on me toward that. Hi, Snake. What you got to say? Uh, he liked animals. Too many people got sick from adopting his pooches. And now, the dogs we had did their best to protect us from the Zed, but 
things got shoved their way past our mutts and tore into mom and dad before we knew what was happening. Ooh. The dogs at least gave me and my sister time to flee, but we soon lost track of each other, but with all the ravenous undead hot on our heels. I managed to get to the city, and it was all I could do to hide out until you found me. He is a team player. Alrighty. I wonder if I should just send everyone to be on timeout unless I need them. Not timeout, but. Because <laughs> 80% of these people. Oops. Let me find where you are. I don't need them anymore. You guys can stop too, so I'll just be like, what? <laughs> Pretty sure everyone's on leave. There we go. Rufus came by today to talk about a construction project. They've got plans to turn one of St. Michael's farms into some sort of death trap for the Zed. I've never heard of plants being that effective against zombies, but our builders should be able to help them out. Offer expert advice. They're happy with the help. Their force should be stronger now than ever. Hopefully, they'll never have to face off against them. Hello, guy. We built a better tower. Nice. So, 12 respect again. Here, just oh my goodness! We headed to St. Michael's to kick those damn set out of the school like the old torch and pitchfork mob. Pitchfork mob. I didn't expect our guys to take it so literally. Turns out, smearing a zombie on a pitchfork and setting it on fire with a torch is quite effective. Spearing, not searing. Whatever. Despite the scorch marks, Rufus and the kids were so happy to have their school back that they declared us friends forever on the spot and showered us with gifts. Rufus presented me with his favorite switchblade, a gift from his dad. Aw, oh, no, but guy, no! Aw, oh, aw. Uh, uh. Here we go. <laughs> Our laboratory has caught fire. Mihai says that he saw someone he didn't recognize skulking around there, and the next thing he knew, smoke and flames were pouring out the building's windows. We'll have time to investigate the inevitable baseless finger pointing later, and the inevitable one. For now, we need to do something to save the laboratory. We might be able to get something. We might be able to find something to use in one of our local fire stations, or if we've got running water, we could try the old-fashioned method using buckets and plenty of manpower. Use our fire station. We're in luck. Our fire station had enough fire blankets to cover a football field with a fair bit of smother, and we put got the blaze under control. We're gonna build a farm out of their houses. All right, I guess. Ooh, Darnell has a quest. Uh, he's like the super genius guy, right? Oh, you please move so slowly, not as slow as his head. This is the guy that he decided to choose with. Okay. Of course, I might have done better if everything hadn't. If, when everything fell apart, if it hadn't been. Oh my goodness. Start over. Of course. I might have done better when everything fell apart if I'd had a few more friends. I only left my apartment when the local delivery place had stopped answering their phones. The city was in ruins by that point. Most of the people had fled. It was horrible. There wasn't even anyone left who knew how to make a decent decaf soy latte with extra cream. Oh my god. You're gonna be a loner guy. I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I 
I did an alright job building this farm for the ladies, I guess. Okay, okay, I mean, I didn't really put my heart into this one. I mean, we were, why are we building stuff for them anyway? Whose idea was this? I agree. I wanted to... Err. That's what I say. Two more times visiting him. Invite her to stay. Done. I like her outfit. It's cute. I had a chance to talk with her over a drink today. Why, well, hello there. You want to know about me? Oh, I'm just a humble woman. I don't need much. I serve the Lord and my husband as best as I can. Well, I used to serve him. My husband, that is. While he was alive. Oh, dear. I'm not sure I'm ready to talk about this yet. You're already vowed. Done. Okay, done. And you can go s hang out with her. Oh no, who's pregnant? Clarice Jackson is going to have a baby. Aww. Laura Jackson, they have a kid. They already have so many kids. Holy Christ. They get busy. Okay, is it too soon to meet with them yet? Yes. Let's trade. Give me something to do. So, they want ammunition. Boom. <laughs> we'll just grab everything of theirs. Of work. Trade. I'm done. Meet with. <laughs> Give him a shovel. Done. Oh my god, we're so damn close. into an argument with Darnell yesterday. I said we couldn't spend the evening together together because I was assigned to do nightly guard duty. He asked me why I just couldn't switch my slot with someone else's. I wrote the guard duty schedule after all. He accused me of avoiding him on purpose. I don't know, maybe he's right and I was avoiding him. Now I think he's giving me the silent treatment. How about we go on a date? We have dinner together. We grabbed some food from the communal cantina, cornmeal grill again, and ate it back at my place. It was wonderful to spend time with Darnell. It doesn't really matter what we do, to be honest. Just hanging out and killing time suddenly has all the meaning when he's around. Aww. No more fighting, guys, okay? Oops. Yes. Oh, I guess. We're nearly out of fuel. Do I even have fuel? I have some. There we go. Trade. There we go. Meet with. So close. So close. It's just an alliance. Boom. An alliance, he mused. Well, it's good to have friends. We could supply you with food and support you if you any have any trouble, this is a big deal. We need a ceremony. Oh my god. Where is the other guy? Mr. Kelly. Does it get down below? We'll throw Darnell in there too. There we go. She is pregnant, it happens, but whether it's the hormones or the impending responsibility of raising a child in a clutch clock world, she's freaking out. She's constantly worried the baby's kicking too much or not enough. She refuses to go anywhere near the outside wall and admonishes people for so much as carrying a weapon near her. She's irritated by conditions in the court, particularly by her diet, which is putting her baby's health at risk. Increase her rations. 
shouldn't be working. I'm pretty sure she's already on bed rest. Everyone, not bed rest, but everyone's taking time off. Announce the alliance. Two of the Ludis blue trumpets and the third cried, His Majesty King Go and Lud the First, as Owen climbed the steps with a sheepish smile. A vampire kind of started as a joke, he said. But now it's one of our traditions. When I die, they'll probably replace me with another king or queen Lud. He flashed the crowd a peace sign and gave a short speech about the benefits of lasting peace and eating raw foods. He's right about the peace anyway. Done. No? Now that we've allied with the Ludis, we can be sure our place in Papa won't be contested. Our backs we've got theirs. As the Lone Ranger used to say, the work here is done. Gather the posse and move on to the next lava ranch or what for onward down the road to the next town. Save me. <sighs> That's all I need to do, huh? Oh, wedding. Okay. Uh, well, there's something the zombies can't stop. These people have fallen in love and want to get hitched. A wedding would be just what we need. Seeing us two in love will remind us that we're all what we're fighting for. Have a crazy party. Love is something to celebrate. We had a big party and danced the night away. Okay. So. My headset was being stupid. Sorry about that. Let's start our mission to leave the city. How many people can I take, it said? Take up to three survivors with you. So, there's going to be me, Darnell, because we're together. Yeah, babe. Catherine for our leader. And Snake for our builder. The rest of you get to stay here. Right, it's just three. Right? Just in case we're going to find... I think it's going to be like, you have too many people. Uh, Darnell, Catherine. Oh, yeah, okay. Darnell, Catherine Parker, Snake Phillips, and I packed our weapons, equipment, and as much food as we could carry. We said our farewells at the gate. The new leader, Brock, promised to take care and care. Uh, he always said he'd be welcome back, but I knew I'd never return. Continue. And took one last look at the shining city Winachi had become high walls to keep the chaos outside, uh, outside. hardworking citizens to keep its spirit alive and an organized government to run its city the city will continue to thrive and be a beacon of civilization to a lost and broken world now onward Diane, you would have been proud of what we built in Winachi it's a real place to settle and call home now just not for me I've got itchy feet again I've heard of this place up in Canada, a big lab we're working on a cure for the disease. The town's got a catchy name, Hope. Oh, if it's still there, I'd like to find it someday. Boom. We did it. We did it. And then in the next episode, we're going to Moses Lake. I can actually pronounce that one. So, I will see you all. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so nice. Um, yeah. For now, I thank you all for watching. We finally did it. I will see you in the next episode. Bye!